It's gonna be a war in the club. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. Come to Manny from Pongs. Just gonna interview him now for the Wham campaign. He's not gonna be here on Friday, so we will catch up with him before he flies off to Ghana. So let's go. So, Emmanuel, thank you for your time, sir. Feel like it's MTV Cribs here at the moment. You're nice so far. But for everyone, like you're going to be going to Ghana on the 3rd of June. But we felt you're so relevant given that you put yourself forward to be ambassador for the WAM campaign. Um, that the people actually find out who Emmanuel from Pong really is. So can you just give us like a bit of a background as to who you really are, sir? Um, I'm Emmanuel from Pong. I play for Arsenal. I came to the country when I was only like eight. I started playing for Arsenal when I was nine, and um, from then I just obviously I started with the academy, and then I just worked my way for uh, through the academy into the first team. Yeah, and it was, it's kind of been a, a difficult kind of year, but it's been a positive one as well. Um, I'll be reading reports and seeing how Arsene Winkler really believes in you. How does that make you feel? Yeah, it makes me feel proud, you know, because like, I can't remember the last time a Ghanaian player played for Arsenal. I can't even remember if a Ghanaian player has ever played for Arsenal, so obviously it makes me happy. That's why. I want to keep working on obviously the injury was a setback so I'm kind of slowing me down but at the moment I'm just working my way towards fitness and hopefully when I'm fit again I can just push it. Tell me something where I know fit to Yo bo 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 my lot too Morning ni morning ni Odeji modeji ya But from your own perspective why do you think it's important for young people to give back through the WAM campaign? For me, for me, for me personally, I feel like, you know, when you called me and you spoke to me about what you are trying to achieve, I felt like I had to give something back. Obviously, I'm not, I'm not giving back, if, I'm not giving back nothing, I'm not giving back money, I'm not saying, oh, my mum has a house, go and sell him, do, <laughs> it, like, do what you're doing, but I feel like, you know, if, if you're doing something positive and someone wants to use you to help their campaign and you've got the time, why not? I feel like you know I'm a, I'm a young guardian guy who's, who's trying to work his way through through life, who's trying to do something positive. So when you called me, I just something something to do with my life. You know, most of the time when I'm at home, I'm not doing nothing. So whenever you know you uh, the campaign needs me to do anything, I'll be there to show my support. Fantastic. And in terms of young people getting involved. Like you were talking before about how you saw me for Ghana two years ago um, and how just for the audience it's kind of a catalyst for forming the WAM campaign um, but from your own perspective like why do you feel that young people should get involved and support the initiative? As I said before I think you know, if, if, you're, if you're a young Ghanaian obviously there's a Ghana brand so if you're a young Ghanaian you know, just get involved. Just you know, if you if you got nothing to do at home, get involved. It's not it's not something to be embarrassed about. It's something positive. You're doing something good. You're doing something good for your country. You know, trying to help people like open up their minds. Trying to help people spread positive thoughts. You know, to um, other parts of God, other parts of the world. You know, so if you're a young guy or girl or woman, man, and you know, if you want to help, it's free really there. You know, something to do. You know, something to help other people. One campaign, what about me? It's not about me. Now get involved. Dead.